Hello everybody, so it's finally here. Yeah, this two kilogram spool of filament. Well, actually it's not. It's not a filament. Well, it actually looks like a filament, but actually it's not. So it's a PET wire. So if you don't know what is PET, PET wire is, well, it's basically a wire made up of PET, but what they use for it and how I got it. And why is it so cheap, like you saw in thumbnail? A dollar for a kilogram. Uh, well, this it's quite simple. So let me just put it in front and then talk. So actually, this is a PET agriculture wire, which is used to for plants like grapes and tomatoes to give them support in order to expand and grow. So this is basically an agriculture product that we're gonna use for 3D printing purposes. So one of my subscribers told me about this thing, this agriculture wire, which I got it for like 80 rupees a kilogram, but actually I paid the more pr price for this one because this is a mass market product. So you need to buy a larger quantity because farmlands are bigger, so they need like thousands of kilogram of these type of plastic wire, but I only needed two kilogram, which was the minimum I can buy from the market, just for the sake of 3D printing experiment. So we're gonna try this thing. So actually I paid, uh, so I went on Amazon because I didn't got it on my local market. So I went to Amazon to check out, check this product out. And I found this product for 200 rupee, which is this much taller as you're seeing on the screen, for a kilogram and on, while actually for buy a minimum of 50 kilo, it's gonna cost, it will gonna cost you a dollar for a kilo or you can say 80 rupees. So that's the other part of the story. So we're gonna try this filament and check whether it's gonna work or not. Well, I have a few assumptions regarding this filament that, first of all, the consistency will be like not very good in comparison to these filament because uh, it's agriculture product consistency doesn't really matter in this case because it just needs to be strong enough to hold those plants in order to grow. But we're still gonna try it and see whether it's gonna work or not. Even if it's work, then it's like, it, it will be really awesome because you're gonna save a ton of money by printing fit filament and it just gonna cost you a dollar for a kilogram while on the normal filament like PLA, ABS or even PETG cost you 18 to 20 or maybe 15 as the lowest dollar possible. So we're gonna try this, so let's begin this video. And one more question, we make PET filament using plastic bottle at home and we think it's just a way to recycle those bottles, you can say. Buying this will be like on the nature again. Well, actually, it's not. I talked to the manufacturer of this product, the company, and they told me the, like 80% of the filament, uh, or you can say the wire they produce this one, is recycled PET bottles. So actually, it's a, they are industry, they have like the machines and all, they are uh, using the advanced technology to convert those PET bottles into this filament, which was, which is like much more better than us producing at which is much more efficient than us producing PET filament at home which is very inefficient and very inconsistent and uh, a lot of headache in that so we're gonna try this thing so let's begin this video So I have loaded the spool, you can see, and it's a green PET filament. And now it's time to print. Well, actually I'm gonna print the Benchy, but before that, let's set this thing up. So I'm gonna go with 255 degrees Celsius as I tried with my own homemade PET tube, or you can say PET filament. So let's print a Benchy and see whether it's gonna print perfectly or not, and how's the quality gonna be. So let's do it. Okay, so the print is done as you can see here. But the problem is too many bubbles. So let me just explain to you. So this filament, like you're saying, or you can say this 3D print bench, a lot of stringing and a lot of bubble. As you can see, the layer line are really inconsistent. Well, the filament inconsistency was not the problem. The problem was the moisture in the filament. As you know, this is a PT filament and it's a agriculture product. So it don't come with the proper sealed packaging like a normal filament comes. So that's why there's like a lot of moisture in these wires and on top of that right now it's a very rainy season so the moisture level are pretty high so first thing i need to do to improve the quality or you could say 2x the quality of this model of filament i need to do is to dry this filament the only problem is i don't have a filament dryer so i need to find something i need to do something in order to dry this thing so 
let's go with the DIY do it yourself route okay so I need some filament on this tool for the sake of drawing it because I don't want to spend a lot of time to drawing it and test this print out as soon as possible well I don't have the hygrometer or a temperature reader and a moisture reader so I can't read the exact temperature while drying it but what I can do is work based on assumptions so I found a trick on YouTube with the box. You can take the box like this and tear off the top. So I'm explaining how you can do this. Well, I have to do this precisely. Let me just do it with the cutter. So once the top you have cut, so now you have this squared box and do some holes at the back. So let me just do that. Use a pen or something. The hole shouldn't be too big. Otherwise, instead of air going out, the moisture yeah, can come in. So make just four holes that would be enough. There's no need to making that many holes. Yeah. So yeah, that's it. Now the filament drying trick is rather simple. So if you have bigger clips, remove those clips as you want the box to be fully settled on your bed and then put the filament like this. And well, I don't have the any temperature and uh, moisture reader. So I otherwise I can make a hole right here and put that thing here, but I don't have. And I ordered it actually, but it will take some time to be delivered. So for that, I'm gonna go like this so what put it like this and make sure it is like completely uh like touching the bed from all the sides so that no air can come into this and now you're done so now next thing is to do is to heat the bed so i'm gonna go in controls temperature and the bed i'm gonna heat it till like 60 degrees celsius that would be better or you could say 70 is good so i'm gonna go with 70 degrees celsius for like four to five hour as a less PLA so I believe it could be done in less time so let's see okay it's been five hours since I put this filament for drying and let's see how it is and it's still drying actually well it's quite hot so without wasting any time I want to print this thing to see what's the coldest thing gonna be so let's do it before it start absorbing the moisture from the air hey so it's time to talk after two days of rigorous fixing and fixing then set changes and setting and then drying the filament as I don't have a filament dryer using some DIY tips and I've been drying this filament for two days so what are the problems I faced what is setting I did to get quality that I'm going to show to you so first thing let's talk about the problem so first problem I did timeline it the wire was completely timeless and it was so annoying that I got three spools like this let me just show it to you Look at this. These are three spools right here because I was untangling and then it's break. So I put it in one spool and then the other. And you can see it's a very thin layer. So it was tangled. Well, uh, I will blame it myself, uh, not the manufacturer, because the thing is it was tangled because uh, I opened the old box when the old filament spread it. Actually, there was already a tip, like the packaging, like you saw in this video, well, all it opens, I can't show it to you. There was a wire coming out, so you can take it out like this and like this, and the wire will come out properly. But uh, I was naive, I don't know how to like open this, so I cut it down the old packaging, the wire spread, then I tried to uh, winding up in this spool, and it didn't really work. So that was the first problem, and the, that problem was created by myself. So first thing is that second problem is the moisture. There was like filament, like you know, these are hydroscopic filament. The PET is hydroscopic, they have a lot of moisture. And there was like, so much moisture that I first dried it for six hours and end up in print like these because it was like not completely dried and they clogged my nozzle partially so the filament was not coming out properly and they caused like hell a problem with the clogging uh, print quality and the bubble and the sound that comes while melting you can hear the sound of the evaporation of the water vapor in the filament so that was the problem so I dried it well I don't have the any uh, filament dryer so what I did I used a DIY method that I saw on YouTube and they just put the filament on the bed and then they cover it with the box and let it dry by heating up the heat bed so that's how that worked with pretty making fuel on the top so the, for the exit of the vapor or moisture and uh, some space at bottom so that the new air can come in and flow up so that was the problem and so moisture is like a lot because first of all these are not for printing purposes so they are never kept up in a sealed packaging with a silica jet in it so that was it problem uh, it was like complete open packaging it took it took 10 days to deliver and i saw the packet it was complete open packet like uh from outside it was like polythene and then inside it was completely exposed so i know it would it had absorbed the large amount of uh moisture and self 
So if you want to get this filament, I would highly recommend add a filament, dry it and dry it this for like 16 hours. Well, I never tried on uh, filament hours, so I'm just saying on my assumption. And the third problem is the brittleness in these filament. Well, brittleness, I would highly blame it to the moisture in, the, in this filament. So once you dry it, that problem will be solved a little bit. What I've learned from this filament, what I got to like, what I have to say about these filament, well, it is a hard print because it is PET. And they discolor like you're seeing this this is the result that i got after drawing it for like over 24 hours on the heat bed and they were like turbo run away ones so i would i would not recommend to like uh keep heating your uh, keep your heat bed heated for like uh, 24 hours it might damage your printer so i would not recommend uh, for this cheap filament uh a feature wire not the filament so i would not recommend and they decolor uh, uh, this probably well pt don't have like properties of decoloration while printing by heating it at certain temperature but the problem is the manufacturer use dyes and the additives which give the color to the pet plastic as they are transparent in the original form in that case if they are using low quality colors in these plastics then the problem is they decolor up while heating or while put out under the sun that's what happens so this is like to reduce the cost of manufacturing and as these are not the aesthetic product not some product that we use for printing some good quality stuff but for the agriculture purposes so don't, don't really care about the how the colors are of these wires so that's why you can see this decoloration happening and so yeah keep this thing in your mind that your filament will decolor when you print it so yeah this this is my whole review for these filament this filament so if you like this video make sure to hit the like button if you want to try something new kind of product related to 3d printing which is not that expensive and can help you life and can help you in your 3d printing journey so let me know goodbye thanks for watching love you all